Hello, brothers and sisters, and God bless each of you, and uh, we're glad that you're joining us on this first Sunday in May 2021 for our communion time together at the Palm Sea of Baptist Church. Uh, this is something that we, uh, like many churches, uh, we have done this consistently through the years. Um, this is our time of, of doing it. We typically do it during our uh, Sunday morning services. Uh, we haven't been meeting, so we haven't been doing it in services, but we have been um, doing this recorded version, and also we're having the drive-through version in the parking lot. But again, churches uh, across the world uh, have their own ways of observing this, uh, this ceremony. It's one of only two uh, rituals that the Lord asked us to do. Uh, the Old Testament was big on rituals. There were all kinds of rituals and ceremonies uh, that God asked the Israeli people to do. But in the New Testament, we only find two of them that are definitively given as things to do with their rituals. Uh, one is uh, water baptism, and then the other one is uh, the Lord's Supper service, or what we call communion. And we're more than happy to do this. It is a way of uh, acknowledging the great sacrifice that uh, the Lord get, gave for us, uh, as it says on our table, uh, in remembrance of me. And, uh, and we, are, we are more than happy to acknowledge him uh, and what he's done for us. So um, there's, uh, there's scripture uh, about how to go about doing that. And I'm gonna share with you some verses that are uh, called from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians that talk to us about how to celebrate the Lord's Supper. This is uh, Paul speaking to a church that he founded, uh, and they were having some trouble in the way that they were celebrating the Lord's Supper service. Uh, uh, they had, uh, it had degenerated quite a bit from what, what the Lord meant for it to be. And so Paul gave them some, some instructions, straightening out for them how, uh, how they needed to go about doing this. And I'm gonna read to you from the uh, book of 1 Corinthians, verses, uh, chapter 11, verses 23 through 34. And it reads as follows. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup <clears throat> when he had supped saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. May God bless the reading and hearing and doing of his word. And so again, uh, Paul shares those words with the church uh, to let them know the spirit in which they are to take this, uh, this Lord's Supper service. And so uh, we can glean from that that first of all, we need to approach this in a very somber and serious way. Uh, this is not a trivial thing. And so uh, we shouldn't be real just cavalier and, and joking about it. It's a serious thing that the Lord wants us to think about the gravity of the situation and what he did for us. And, and this was his chosen way of being remembered by his people. So uh, one way we can honor him and show him our love uh, is, to, uh, is to remember the Lord's Supper service uh, in this way. And so <clears throat> as we begin uh, the service, uh, I'm going to uh, bless the elements and then we will, uh, we will take them together. So I'm going to ask you at this time to retrieve your elements that you will be using. Some of you have the cups, some of you have uh, crackers or other uh, unleavened uh, bread or wafers, and then uh, you can use uh, whatever juice is convenient for you. Uh, we use grape juice here. Uh, and so let us, uh, let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we praise you and thank you for your goodness and love and mercy. Thank you for your grace, Lord, and thank you, Lord God, for giving us, Lord God, the, uh, the presence of mind, Lord, to want to participate in this Lord's Supper service. Father, we are grateful, Lord, that you uh, made the, the, the volitional choice. You willingly chose to die for us. We're grateful, Lord God, because nothing could have made you do this, Lord. You could not have been compelled 
to do this, Lord. There's no power in existence that could have forced you to do this, Lord. But you did it voluntarily because of your love for us. And for that, Lord, we are deeply grateful. So we ask, Lord God, that you would allow us, Lord, to remember what you've done. We ask that you would bless these elements that we are partaking of. Uh, bless the bread, that it would be a nourishment to our bodies, and let it be a fitting reminder of how your body, body was broken for us. And bless the drink, Lord God, that we may remember, Lord, that you allowed your blood to flow uh, uh, on that day that uh, secured for us our salvation. So thank you again for your mercy. Bless us, Lord. Bless these elements and help us, Lord, to grow spiritually uh, as we follow you. Thank you again for your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I'm going to ask now then that you will all please prepare to take the Lord's Supper service, uh, to take the Lord's Supper. Rather. I'm going to ask that you will retrieve the bread. <clears throat> If you all have your bread, we will eat together. And please retrieve your cup. And let us drink together. Again, we thank God for his grace. We thank him for all things. And as we prepare uh, to depart, I will share with you the blessing that the Lord taught Moses and Aaron to give. <clears throat> To the children of Israel in the wilderness. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Go in peace.